Hello, I am Naresh. In this video, we are going to see how to auto update the status page incident and how to auto resolve the status page incident directly from Jira. So in our previous video, we started discussion on automatic incident management process with Jira and status page. There we saw how to create a status page incident automatically from Jira. Okay, so there we already created one automation rule. So this automation rule, what happens? This automation rule creates a status page incident. Okay, as soon as it hits this trigger point. Okay, right. So uh, here I am going to add one more component. This component is very, very important for us. Why? Because this component plays a major role to auto update and to auto resolve the status page incident. So please watch carefully. Here I am going to add an action. I am choosing edit issue and I am selecting a custom field. Actually, before starting this video, I created this custom field. Okay. So you already knew how to create a custom field, right? So that's why I don't want to waste my time to show you how to create a custom field. So actually, uh, I'll show you what is the field type. So I used single line text field type, okay? So I am saving this, right? So I'll show you what is this incident ID and all, okay? So let me uh, create one text outage. Okay, test. We can create. And if you check audit log, there you can see the results. See, issue is edited successfully and sent a web request also. Okay, right. So if you go to the status page and just refresh this status page, see, incident has been created if you click the incident and if you open the incident and if you go to the url there you can see the incident id see this is called as incident id okay so what happens is after creating the status page incident status page will send this incident id to jira so this jira automation rule will update the issue so let me open the issue with incident ID, see the incident ID. So this incident ID has been taken from the status page. Okay, so this is the incident ID. See 9GZ, that's all the first three letters, 9GZ. Okay, understood? So this incident ID is very, very important to update. Okay, so to update the status page incident and to auto resolve the status page incident. Okay. So let me create one more automation rule. You can't create. Uh, now issue comment. And here, new comment is the main action. Uh, comment added during status transition. Let me choose for all comments for now. Okay. And the condition is issue fields condition like issue type equals to incident. And one more condition issue ID. Oh, sorry. Uh, incident ID. So incident ID. Uh, is not empty okay incident id is not empty then only we need the action right next new action again web request send web request so here the web request url is uh, uh same let me go to the document again so let me copy this and paste this here and uh, let me copy authorization 
and paste that here and here we need to update therefore we need to choose patch and custom data okay so mm, here we need to change uh, this uh, page code let me go to the settings there you have api info so this is the page code copy that and paste that in the url okay and actually this url uh, leads us to the incident tab but we need to go to the particular incident okay so for that if you come down there you can see uh, a different url we here so we need to add this smart value issue dot incident id okay let me write uh, the smart value issue dot incident okay issue dot incident id so this is the smart value and let me copy the api key okay so here we need to add the custom data <coughs> So here, uh, this is actually this custom data is uh, useful for resolving the status page incident, but we need to update, uh, all right? So we need to modify a little bit, okay? A little bit, uh, something like this uh, incident. Okay. Right message. Incident. Okay. So here we need to use some smart values for mm. comments. Uh, returns the body of the last comment. Uh, let us use this. Mm, let us use this issue dot comments dot last other comments and issue. Let's use this. Put an issue. And uh, we need to add the comment body also. Okay, something like this. Okay, so let me. Status. This is update status page incident. Turn it on. So when the rule is triggered on, when there is comments, uh, issue type equals to incident, and uh, the condition is incident ID is not empty, then send a request. Okay. So now what we do is uh, I will uh, uh, do. I will create an incident test outage. Test outage two. This is test two. Let me create this. So this is the issue actually. Okay. So this is the status page, and let me go to incidents again. So this is our incident. So See here, the status page incident has been automatically created from Jira via automation tool. So this is the Jira issue. This is the status page incident. Okay, this is the status page incident. This is the Jira incident. Now, uh, look carefully. 
So now we are going to execute the second automation tool by adding comment on the Jira. Let us see how it works. Okay. Can you please give more details? Okay. Can you please give more details? And I am adding comment. Uh, let us go to the automation tool. Let us see are it logged fast. Yeah, it is success. See the issue condition is passed and the issue condition is passed and successfully publish the web request. Let us see the status page now. And let us so refresh this whether we can see the message here or not. I am refreshing this. See here, Naresh ji has left a comment on the issue. Hello, can you please view more detail? So like that, we can update the status page incident automatically from Jira. So this is our second automation tool in the incident management.